So what are the best microphones for Apple devices when it comes to shooting YouTube videos, doing interviews, and recording audio in general? In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing some of the new microphones on the market, as well as my top picks coming up. Hey, what's up? Sean Cannell here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of YouTube tips videos as well as tech gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, check out show notes and links in the YouTube description below. I'll list out all of the gear I cover, plus some bonus resources. Let's jump into the video. So there is so much opportunity to build your influence with online video right now, whether on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram stories, online video is everywhere. And the cool thing is all you need is your smartphone to get started. However, audio is one of the most important aspects of video. And a lot of times the on-camera microphone leaves a lot to be desired. So let's cover some of the top options for Apple devices when it comes to getting pro audio, whether just for shooting videos or maybe you wanna record music or do um, other compositions. We'll cover it all right now. So first up, we've got the Shure MV88. Now this is a awesome lightning port microphone that has incredible audio quality and uh, plugs right into your phone for very convenient use. Now, it goes straight out, so you could use it like an interview microphone or just record a podcast audio or something like that. And it also goes directionally, so you could either shoot in front of your um, iPhone or you could spin the microphone around and also shoot it kind of landscape or stories pointing it back at you to record your audio. So let's check out how the MV88 sounds. So right now you're hearing just the on-camera iPhone microphone here in my home office, but we're gonna plug this in and see the difference in the audio quality. All right, now the MV88 is plugged in. I'm about 18 inches away from the phone, so you could imagine doing maybe a live stream or recording YouTube videos right off your phone just like this, and let me know what you think about the audio quality difference in the comment section. So personally, I love this microphone and the audio quality. Now, it works great when you just plug it into your phone and you're a little bit of ways away to capture the audio, but where it made a huge difference is actually out of my loft, where the acoustics were much more echoey, the on camera mic of the iPhone did not capture very well at all, but as soon as I plugged in the MV88, it really brought the noise to be a lot more crispier and uh, better audio quality overall. And so I definitely recommend this mic, but the other way to use it would be very much like a podcast microphone. Maybe you're just using it for capturing audio. So you actually might speak into it just like this. And so as we, you're hearing this audio right now, this is coming right off of my iPhone uh, through the MV88. And Shure also has an audio recording app that gives you a lot of customizability if you wanna record higher resolution audio files, really do a crispy interview that maybe has no video involved. This is a very professional mic and it comes at a price tag of around $150 here in the US. So it's definitely an investment, but the quality is there. And it also is equipped to record instruments and other things. Now, I'm mostly creating YouTube videos and doing vocal things, but if you wanted to be a musician and get something to plug into your phone to capture some piano playing, acoustic guitar playing, or even singing, this is definitely a mic to consider as well. Next up is the Rode VideoMic Me L, and the L stands for lightning. And this is really an update of the Rode VideoMic Me that had the TRR RS headphone plug-in before, and this one just goes straight into your lightning port. Now, this is a big deal for newer Apple devices because to use the former Rode, you would have to use your dongle, and that was kind of just a situation like this where the mic would just be hanging off, so if you didn't have some kind of a rig, you didn't really have a good mounting solution. So for newer Apple devices, the Rode VideoMic Me L is a great solution. Now, one thing to note on this is I love the MV88 because because it can not just go into kind of microphone mode for podcasting, but you can also angle it to point towards your subject. Whereas with the Rode, it's always gonna be pointing at your subject. It's definitely more of a shotgun mic meant for capturing uh, the audio really in front of the camera with your front facing camera. If you're shooting subjects and you wanna have that crispy audio like this, or if you do the selfie camera, you can point the microphone back at you and have crispy audio. So let's check out how it sounds. All right, once again, you are hearing the iPhone microphone. I'm a little bit further away now, maybe about 20 inches to two feet, and we're gonna plug this in and check out the audio quality. 
Now you're hearing the Rode VideoMic Me Lightning Port Edition plugged in and I'm about two feet away or so, a little bit further away. And one of the goals of microphones like this, you'll notice is it takes that kind of noise floor hiss away, right? When it's just the on-camera microphone, the iPhone is reaching to grab your audio and has kind of an airy noise to it. Whereas in this case, the Rode VideoMic Me cuts that down and is much more directional. So this is all about capturing audio right in front of the, of the camera. And what's great about this is this is a great setup for YouTube videos and for live streaming. You could just put it on a Joby Gorilla Pod like this. I have the Mi Photo um, Tripod 360 side, Sidekick comboed up there. You just put it on the desk just like this and start creating content. So I would love to hear what you think about the audio quality from the Rode VideoMic Me. And it's important to note that a microphone like this is really gonna shine when you get into maybe a noisy environment. If you compare your on-camera iPhone microphone to just the clamor and the noise of maybe a group of people at a live event versus plugging this microphone in and then cutting out that noise and only having the directional mic pattern. It's a shotgun mic, so the goal is to only capture the audio in front of the mic and not the audio that's happening around the mic. So definitely an upgrade. And this thing comes in at around $80 here in the US. And of course, check links in the description below for the current pricing. And there's a few future features to know about this microphone. One, it comes with this, uh, wind, this dead cat for extreme wind situations. Now this is a little bit ridiculous and you can see that if you have this on your iPhone, um, it's definitely no small uh, you know, setup situation. Imagine walking around vlogging with that. However, that's gonna be a great solution for cutting down wind noise if you find yourself um, outdoors. And additionally, it also has a little headphone jack in the back. So that's nice if you want to have that pass-through audio to be monitoring your audio in real time. That is a huge advantage. The MV88 does not have that. Now, one of the features that I actually love about the MV88 is that when you plug it in, they have a little LED light that lets you know that it's on and being powered. I guess that's just a nice reassurance to know that it's working. Whereas the Rode mic doesn't have that, but um, when you plug it in, it just works. But it is a little feature as we kind of discuss the differences. Okay, so those first two microphones are great solutions for your Apple device, whether your iPhone or an iPad, plugging directly into the lightning port. But the next recommendation is definitely the most economical, especially if you already have a microphone, and that is the Rode cable called the SC4. Now, this is a very simple cable, but it's very powerful. And what it ultimately does is it takes a standard microphone and turns it into a smartphone microphone. What's the difference? Well, a standard microphone microphone is a TRS cable. It has two black rings there, and that means left and right. You're, it's a two-channel microphone, and it goes left and right. Now, when you plug this into a smartphone, even if you don't need a dongle, you've got a headphone jack on your smartphone, when you plug this in, it won't work. Why? Because smartphone plugs are TRRS. That's why your Apple headphones have three rings on there. Why? Because of your left earbud, your right earbud, and the microphone channel. And so what this cable accomplishes is it takes a TRS plug from this shotgun mic, for example, you plug that into the cable, and now you're in a smartphone, TRRS plug, that can go into your Apple device. And in this case, I'm gonna need a dongle, so we're creating quite the chain of plugs, but with the dongle in there, we're now ready to go to use this microphone. Now, it's also important to note that you probably want some way to mount this entire setup. And so right now, I've got kind of a smartphone mount device here that is great. This one was from LoomCube, but uh, we'll link some different options in the description below. And so comboed all together, this plug right here now makes it so that you could use any microphone that you have ultimately and turn it into a smartphone microphone. This plug comes in for around $15 here in the US and there's also a couple different brands that make them as well. You could grab one from Boya for a few dollars cheaper. This comes in about $10 and ultimately it's a pretty simple cable um, but I would invest in a good brand just to make sure you have something that's dependable. Let's check out how it sounds. Okay, so right now I've got the Rode VideoMic Go on here, and the important thing to note is that this cable will work with any microphone. So the quality of this audio is based on this microphone, but you could ultimately plug anything into a setup like this, and this might be the best way to level up the audio for your smartphone without investing in a lot of new gear. Now, 
typically because of this dongle situation or even without the dongle situation, you're gonna have wires hanging and different things. You're probably gonna need some sort of a mounting solution. But right now you're hearing this Rode video mic go and you can see that normally I wouldn't be able to plug this microphone into my phone, but because of this converter cable, it now works. So let me know how you think this audio sounds in the comments. Okay, so now let's check out a couple different microphone styles. So we covered the Rode VideoMic Me L and the MV88 from Shure that plugs directly into our lightning port. But now let's check out a lavalier microphone. Now this is the Smart Lav from Rode and we're gonna have to use a dongle to plug this into our phone and this is gonna be a microphone that we can clip onto our shirt. Now, one of the things that of course is limited from a microphone like this is you're typically not gonna have two people on camera with this type of solution. But if you're just creating YouTube videos or just reporting on location or wanting to do um, some kind of a live stream content, this microphone wor would work great. If you wanna have two people on camera, it's nice having those other options because they're a little more versatile. You don't have to clip the mic on or off or you can just capture all the audio in front of the camera. But keep watching the video because later on we're going to share a very cool interview solution and that'll be coming up in just a bit. But let's see how this sounds. So for a reference point, here is the audio directly off the phone once again and it's important to probably note that this is an iPhone 8 Plus. And now let's plug in the Rode SmartLav. All right, so now you are hearing the Rode Smart Lab. I just have it clipped on right here. Now, one interesting thing about this microphone is the cable is pretty short. So when you check out this other angle, you can actually see that running it up under my shirt, it works at about this distance, um, but it leaves a little bit to be desired as far as cable length. Now, Rode actually has an extender cable that I definitely recommend, but once you start adding all of these up, they can be pretty pricey. But I'd love to hear how you think this audio sounds compared to some of the other microphone solutions we've been covering. And just for reference, here is another alternative from Shure. Now this is their MVL mic. I have it clipped on right here. This one is about two inches longer in the cable length. And the Rode Smart Lav comes in for right around $63 at the time of shooting this video here in the US. And the MVL comes in for right around 69. So both of these mics are priced at about the same price. Both of them should probably have longer cables. Um, and so you definitely want to be thinking about extenders. But once again, this is just an alternative lavalier microphone from Shure called the MVL. All right, so we've covered some great audio solutions for your Apple device, and all of these will definitely help you level up your audio. It's also important to note that with Shure and Rode microphones, they both offer some very helpful apps. And so Shure has the Motive app and Rode has the Reporter app, and both of those allow you to do um, uncompressed audio recording, uh, make adjustments to your audio files, record higher res. On the Motive app with the Shure MV88, you can control the uh, direction pattern of how it's capturing audio and even fine-tune it for music and other things like that and so definitely check those out as well if you're thinking about these microphones all right so those are all great audio solutions for your Apple device and will definitely help you level up your audio but it's important to note that none of those are really budget options and if you actually want to see some of the videos in our budget iPhone and smartphone microphone series I'll put a link to those on the YouTube card as well as in the description below but now let's just share a few final thoughts as well well as my favorite microphone pick out of all of these. One of the downsides of both the Rode VideoMic Me L and the MV88 is that they do not work with my case. Now I've seen some other cases that are a lot more flush here that allow for these microphones to plug in, but in this case, when the case is on, you cannot use these. So these, it's a little bit frustrating, and if you ever wanted to use this for like a vlogging setup or whatnot, you would want to have your case conducive to letting these actually get flush with your lightning port. Now, of course, your dongle could fit in there and you could connect a lavalier mic, but just something to consider when you're putting together your smartphone audio setup. So that being considered, my personal favorite smartphone audio setup right now that I'm using the most is the MV88. It's definitely my top pick, and I love having it on this Joby Gorillapod with a Mi Photo Sidekick. And what I do is I just plug this in like this, and this is my setup for live streaming on Instagram vertically, and I can sit right in front of the phone, right in front of this window, or I can go horizontal and live stream over on Facebook just like that. And the other thing I've been doing is I've been shooting some Instagram ads as well as Instagram story ads, and this is the setup that I 
use. It gives me something to hold on to. It gives, because there's no case and there's no pop socket, it gives a nice way for the microphone to mount. You have a little bit of an angle with the MV88. And personally, I love the sound quality of the MV88. So this is my setup, but question of the day, what is your current smartphone audio setup? Do you have any good rigs, any microphones that you recommend? Definitely let me know in the comments section. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't yet. And if you wanna check out other videos in our smartphone audio series, including my coverage of the Rode interview kit, click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, this channel is all about bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.